It's extremely hard to get this seated in the gate properly. There's a little tab there, a tab on this side, and then a tab here and a tab here. And when you've achieved that, you just close the gate like so. Don't forget to select the right setting for film to be transferred, either standard 8 or super 8. Right, I'm going to set it to capture mode and then adjust the picture settings. Exposure is on normal, but as you can see the hair is burning out a bit. I'm just going to go back and take it down a stop, see if that makes any difference. You have to stop the machine if you want to make any of these adjustments with focus or whatever. Picture, okay. Sharpness. Exposure, okay. So hit down just one. Okay. I'm leaving the sprocket holes in on this transfer because I can crop them back um, in my edit. I find it very annoying that it doesn't have a manual exposure. It's auto only. I've overlooked a trick there. You should be able to have manual exposure. It is burning out a bit there. Okay, I'm going to try some Super 8 black and white now, which I think would be interesting. Here we go, now what do we select here? Put that one there, frame adjust, okay, minus, up a bit, let's try some of that now. There's a frame line on the top and a bit of sprocket hold on the left that I can crop out when I do the edit. As I said, I'll have to take the chroma out because it keeps changing colour for black and white. You can see the hue of the black and white is changing because of this wretched auto colour. I can take that out, I can correct that in the edit, but um, so that's not good. It certainly takes large reels. This is a 600 foot or 180 meters, but God knows how long it would take to do it. 24 hours? You can fast forward. You have to take it out of the gate, select it on the menu and press fast forward. The other good thing about this is hairs and dirt tend not to get caught in the gate, unlike standard film projectors. All in all, the Kodak Reels is not a bad scanner, but very expensive. And for the price, I would expect some manual settings, like exposure, etc. Um, but uh, take a look at these examples that I've done, and. Um, yeah, if it was about a hundred quid cheaper, I'd be quite happy with it.